Okay, we're given a function and asked to find the equation or the formula for this function that would produce this graph. So by the looks of this, this appears to be a tangent function. So we wanna kind of fit everything in with transformations um, into the tangent function. So some things I notice here um, that we can take a look at are some key points, all right? The key points, and I'm really just focused on this middle version, right? This is periodic, so it repeats over and over and over. Let's just focus on this middle graph here of one period. So we've got our key points, one's at the origin. The other two tend to be at, looks like we're halfway in between the origin and this vertical asymptote. So we're gonna say one's at two, and it looks like if I were to plot that on the graph, it's gonna be at positive two. And then negative two looks like on the graph here is gonna be at negative two as well. So what that information is telling me has to do with the amplitude. Uh, what would be called the amplitude if it was a sine or cosine function, we don't quite refer to it as the same thing when we're talking about tangent or cotangent. What's happening in this case is this is referred to as a stretching factor or a compressing factor. Because this key point was not at one, instead it was all the way up here at two, what that's indicating is we want to have a two as a stretching factor attached to the entire function being multiplied in front. I know that's going to be a positive two as opposed to a negative two because the graph is increasing the entirety. Um, if it was decreasing or if it got flipped upside down, then that would indicate a vertical reflection and this would be a negative out in front. All right, so we've got the two taken care of, the stretching factor for our key point. The next thing to kind of be aware of is, I believe the only other thing that's going on on this one is our period does not go from negative pi over two to positive pi over two. It looks like it goes from negative four to positive four. So the period in this case, we could say equals eight, right? Goes from negative four to positive four. So four plus four makes eight. Now, normally what we do to compute the period is we say the original period for tangent, which is pi, divided by some multiple that would sit right here attached to x on the inside. So we don't know what b is off the top of our head, but we have an equation where we said we can look at the graph and pick out the period. And how we compute this period is always the original period for tangent, which is pi, divided by a multiple on the inside. So let's solve this equation down for b. So to solve down, I'm gonna get b out of the denominator. So multiply both sides by b. So we have eight b, equals pi, to get b by itself, we just divide by eight. So that gives us b equals pi over eight. So as we kind of include that, we have two times the tangent of pi over eight times x. And I think that's all we need on this graph, that it hasn't been picked up and moved to the right or to the left, so we don't have a phase shift going on, a uh, number added or subtracted directly from x. It also doesn't look like this graph has been picked up and moved up or moved down. So that's kind of telling me I don't have a number added or subtracted from the entire function at the end. So that's the formula for this graph. Hope this helps out as you're trying to go from a graph to the function itself. Good luck.